Hey, so I'm Zach. I am a first year here at Occidental College. I'm a media arts and culture major with an emphasis on film production. I grew up here in Los Angeles and I spent my whole life loving and watching movies. Growing up, I wasn't a big movie watcher. I was more of a movie maker than a watcher. Now I've, it's almost a bit of the opposite. And I started a YouTube channel when I was like fourth grade, just posting the stupidest things you've ever seen. And just growing up, I was always making really just frivolous movies with my brother and sister. No meaning to them whatsoever. I really just have become more of a watcher recently. I've always been obsessed with making them, and I still am, but now because of the limited time and resources I have, get, being a college student, I really just am more into watching them than making them at the moment. I have what's called AMC A-List. It's $23.95 a month for three free movies a week. But how that works is I literally just make reservations on my phone and I don't have to pay anything for the tickets that I get, essentially. And I actually got it over the summer because I knew I'd be seeing a lot of movies in college. I see movies usually two to three times a week with my AMC A-list thing. So. So. General consensus? Not good. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Nope. No redeeming qualities at all? I mean... They redesigned the character, I give them that. And it wasn't atrocious. Wasn't good. Yeah, I'd say movies do have a societal and cultural impact. I say they can really benefit and tear us down. Uh, a few examples I can think of off the top of my head are one, Love, Simon, that came out last year, which definitely helped a lot of LGBT teens who were struggling. I've read stories about people who came out because of that movie. And movies like, recent movies, like Just Mercy, that came out, which often deal with sensitive subjects such as racism and the death penalty, I feel like really can make a difference in how people react and behave to certain things. So what I would like to see more of in movies today is a lot more minority representation. For example, you have people who don't have special needs playing roles of people with special needs, and we have people who might not be Spanish playing someone who's Hispanic in a role, or someone who's straight playing a gay person in a role, or someone who's cisgender playing a transgender person in a role. And I feel like it really speaks to the studio and just a whole the whole motif of authenticity if we have someone who actually identifies as a certain character in real life to be playing that same character in a movie and not have just the sort of mismatch of identities because I feel like when we have that it really sort of just undermines the whole concept to begin with.